Our next question comes from Mary from Asheville, North Carolina, and she says, Dr. Ray, I've been diagnosed with a herniated and bulging disc in my lumbar spine, as well as a facet degenerative hypertrophy, and wants to know if upper cervical care could possibly be a way for her to get well from these problems. Well, first I want to explain to you how the body works, okay? The head sits on top of these two bones. Anywhere one of these bones go, the head has to go with it, okay? Because it sits right on top there. It doesn't really have any choice. Well, the brain sits in here, okay? And the brain is designed, it's got to be level to work right. It has its own reflex. It's called the riding reflex. The purpose of that riding reflex is to keep the head level or parallel to the ground. So if one of these bones got a little bit out of its normal position, head doesn't like that or the brain doesn't like that, brain responds by sending messages down to the body, telling the body to compensate or change to level the head. So what this can do is start a chain reaction of twisting, turning, bending, rotating, whatever it has to do to get the head level back out. So as a result, what you can end up with, the, the discs that are stacked up between those vertebrae are like little jelly donuts. They have a little gel nucleus in the middle. And those, those, new, those uh, discs can actually start to bulge or lean towards one side or the other. And that can cause that bulging disc or that herniated disc to come out to the point where it can actually cause discomfort, actually even hit on the nerves, maybe going down the leg. At the same time, the facets, which are the, the little blocks that uh, hold vertebra, hold the bones together and that the block that they sit on top of in the back side of the spine, um, if those things get locked or they're carrying way too much stress because of some altered biomechanics in your spine, then they get what's called hypertrophy or they get uh, built up of calcification because the body's laying that extra support there because they're carrying way too much weight and they're working too hard just trying to hold your weight up. So from an upper cervical standpoint, what we would want to look at is see if maybe, you know, how the head was sitting on top of the neck and how these upper bones were aligned. And then if we could correct that, then what would happen is those compensations actually could start unwinding themselves and allow the disc to kind of slide back underneath themselves and pull back underneath the spine and eliminate the bulging or the protrusion of that disc and also taking the extra stress off of those facet joints in the back of the spine because the curves would start to change in your body as well and that calcification would no longer be necessary because that part of the spine wouldn't be working so hard. So Mary, to answer your question, uh, yes, it definitely could be an upper cervical case. I would suggest you find the upper cervical doctor nearest you to see if they do find a problem in the upper neck that could be causing these problems.